I know you don't want me to waste your time, so I'm just going to tell you what I would tell a friend if they ended up asking me whether or not this graphics card is worth it. I am going to have gaming benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff up on screen for you. I'm going to be putting it in this computer, and I'm going to be taking the RTX 5060 out of this and putting it in my niece's computer, which was a GTX 1660 Ti. It's a little bit outdated at this point. However, this is an awesome graphics card. I've built multiple PCs with the RTX 5070 again, or 5070 Ti again. I will have benchmarks and all the stuff I know everybody is interested in on screen for all of you. However, main reason I got this one over the other Gigabyte model is the lighting. I just think that the lighting on this thing is super cool. Now, I do want to say always make sure that you take the stickers off of the actual fans. And then this graphics card also has stickers on the that Gigabyte logo right there. There's like a plasticky glass type of plate so make sure that you take that off as well um well, i know a lot of people run into problems with their graphics card having like a or not graphics card but their computers having like a, a chemically smell and most of the time that's just plastic that was forgotten to be removed like i know it's not the computer we're going to be talking about but there's like plastic here there's plastic there there's plastic here there's plastic here there's plastic here there's there's plastic there there's pl it's like all over everything and um i understand why companies do that it's to not scratch your product because if there's a scratch on something then they're just kind of sol with the the star rating and that kind of stuff but as you can see this is everything i mean i'm sure that you all looked at the actual listing um but this right here you see how this is like that that lighting um I'm going to be putting the GPU like that inside of this little computer here and I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a setup in this room here just because I, I want some other room to be able to do stuff and this has a little mini computer that I've been using. I had originally planned to use that computer on these two TVs but this did not work out as I intended it to. It is very cool. I'm not saying that I don't like this. I, I'm going to keep it this way just because it's one, I bought two TVs, and two, I, I do like it. But the, the big problem is, like, if I'm sitting on this chair to play a game on this TV, it this TV is so far away that it, it's hard. I mean, I, I did get scanned so I can, like, move it out, but it's just, it's it didn't work out the way I intended it to. I mean, I'm sure that anybody that even has like a flat monitor and a flat monitor and you're standing in front of this one and you look over, you can kind of tell what I'm, what I'm getting at. It's just the angle of the monitor from where you're actually standing looks awkward. However, that's all I need to say about this thing. Highly recommend it.